Guys, I wanted to share this very interesting uh, college football Big Ten Super Conference proposal, which would include 24 teams. Now, I found this off of Instagram. You guys can see it. This is PixCFB, his uh, Instagram post. You can see there is the 24 team Big Ten Conference with the additions of. USC, UCLA, Oregon, and Washington from the Pac-12. You've got the independent Notre Dame. You've also got Stanford from the Pac-12. And then four teams getting poached from the ACC, Boston College, Pittsburgh, Syracuse, and Louisville. So this is the whole idea of an absolute super conference. This would be the SEC possibly getting the major teams from the ACC, including Clemson, FSU, maybe North Carolina, and Duke, although I'm interested to see how that would work out if the SEC tries to get North Carolina. Will they also want to pair them with Duke? But guys, this is a crazy scenario, and this would basically mean that the Pac-12 would be completely a sub-conference and they would have to try and steal and poach Mountain West teams and it would completely screw Washington State, Utah State, maybe even a team like California. Although it's interesting because I heard there are multiple people that think California would be very appealing to the Big Ten. So this is just a scenario if they really go super conferences and under this 24-team super conference, the idea is you would have three subdivisions of eight teams each based off of the geographical location because this would be a so-called conference with teams from Oregon, teams from California, teams from Ohio, teams from Iowa, teams from New Jersey. So you would have to split it up regionally and very interesting, taking the teams from the ACC, Boston College, I think they would try and go for Virginia over a team like Boston College. Pittsburgh, that makes sense. I love the Pittsburgh-Penn State rivalry. I'd love to see those two teams play every year. Syracuse, they've got a good basketball program. And then Louisville, Louisville has a really good basketball program and they have a lot of money. So um, that would be very interesting there. But that's just an, a mock proposal. This would also include the SEC very likely going to 24 teams, taking the the teams from the ACC. And then, of course, yesterday, we talked about Big 12's possible super conference. They would also be poaching teams from the Pac-12, presumably Arizona State, Arizona, Utah, and Colorado to the Big 12 as they try and form a super conference to stay relevant. Now, there's also these are two things that are just crazy to me. It just goes to show you how unbalanced it already is. Heisman Trophy winners by conference after the realignment. Big 10 and SEC both with 26. The ACC, Big 12, and Pac-12 combined three conferences have 18. So I know Heisman trophies isn't the best gauge, but it does show conference prestige, conference hit, or excuse me, team prestige, team history. It's just so unbalanced right now. And then the national titles, the SEC with 36, the Big Ten with 24, the ACC still hanging in there with 14. We'll see what happens to their conference. The Big 12 with two, and the Pac-12 with one national title after. USC and UCLA go to the Big Ten. So that is a ridiculous, stark difference. And then there's also this uh, uh, little Instagram post from Fox College Football. Who else should the conference add if they want to reach 20 teams in the Big Ten? So Washington and Oregon, I believe, will be in after Notre Dame. The Big Ten is waiting on Notre Dame right now. If they go, that'll start a domino effect, and that will at least give us the, the an actual answer on the Big Ten's plans for a potential super conference because then you would have 17 teams with Notre Dame. You take Oregon, that's 18 teams. You take Washington, that's 19 teams. I think those first three teams are the next teams that will be added to the Big Ten. Kansas is very interesting because Kansas has an unbelievably elite basketball program 
but they have a horrible football program. They don't have great academics. Virginia is a team I could see aligning very well with the Big Ten. You've got a good basketball program, a mediocre football program, but that's another one I could see. Virginia Tech, I don't see it. North Carolina, I mean, listen, you don't want to split up North Carolina and Duke, but I think North Carolina and Duke, surprisingly, would more likely go to the SEC than the Big Ten, even though they seem like more Big Ten type schools. That's just what I'm reading from this. Clemson, most assuredly, is not joining the Big Ten. They would go to the SEC. Iowa State, the Big Ten is not interested in Iowa State. Just because Iowa State has had a few decent years in football, they, they're, they're notorious, notoriously a really bad football program and a subpar basketball program. Stanford, the Big Ten's definitely interested, I'm sure. Conference prestige, at, you know, elite academics. And then California is another team that would be very interesting to the Big Ten. But the next three teams, I would say it's Notre Dame, it's Oregon, and it's Washington for the Big Ten if they do expand to a super conference. Now getting to some, this, this is just something I wanted to do. I took some of the comments from the last video and we're just going to talk through what people are thinking. Uh, the Big 12 would still be the best in basketball. So this is very interesting. The Big 12, if they expand to a super conference, would have an unbelievable basketball conference. And this is why I really want the Big 12 if the Big Ten and the SEC both expand and you have the Big Ten picking schools off of the Pac-12 and you have the SEC picking schools off the ACC, I would love to see the Big 12 also get involved and poach schools from the Pac-12 to at least create another super conference so it's not totally unbalanced and it would give them a great basketball conference. Kansas is still in that conference along with a few other elite basketball programs. If Notre Dame stays, then yes, uh, then we'll see Oregon. If Notre Dame says yes, then we'll see Oregon, Washington, and Utah joining the Big Ten. I don't think they would go for Utah, personally. Utah, while they're good right now, like their basketball program's nothing special. Their football program, eh, they're an 8 or 9 win team. I don't see them taking Utah. If they say no, then add Arizona State or Stanford, the Pac will raid the Mountain West for... Bo yeah, so this is what's going to happen. If the Pac-12 loses a significant amount of teams, they will try and raid the Mountain West, which inevitably will make the Pac-12 a sub-conference and, for lack of a better term, basically irrelevant, unfortunately, especially when it comes to Power 5 big-time football. You know, they're going to take San Diego State. They're going to take Boise State. You're replacing USC. You're replacing Oregon. You can't be replacing Oregon and USC with those type of teams and expect to still be relevant. So, they, the Pac-12 can still technically exist, but it's basically just going to be a mock-up version of the Mountain West with, like, Maybe Washington State and Oregon State, because I don't know what those teams would do. Would they go independent? I don't think they would. I think they need the revenue, the TV revenue. They would have to sign a new TV deal with the Pac-12, which would be nothing. It would be pennies on the dollar. That's why you've got a team like Oregon that is so incentivized to join the Big Ten because they're going to get paid so much more money. That's why USC and UCLA went to the Big Ten and said, listen, we have a TV contract coming up in 2024. It's horrible. We will make your conference more money when we renegotiate that TV deal. Why can't we just join your conference? And then this is a, a reference to it. Uh, the TV contract for this group of schools, he's talking about the Big, the, the big 12 proposed super conference, will look like a group of five versus what the new pay, Big Ten and SEC are getting. So yeah, it's going to be completely imbalanced. The Big Ten and the SEC are going to be making so much more revenue per school than any other team. Even if the Big 12 creates a super conference, it's not even going to be close. They're not even going to be. So that's why there's going to be two major conferences and then maybe the Big 12 as a minor super conference. I think they should bring in Toronto University to the Big 12. What? I'm not even sure you can do that, brother. Can you bring in a team from Canada to a college football division? 
I'm not even sure if you can do that. Um, I'd still take the ACC over what's on this map. Yeah, but the ACC is going to get poached. The ACC is probably going to get crushed unless they're somehow able to keep their conference together. I'm guessing they still have that major TV deal that Clemson is going to have to get out of uh, along with Florida State. I think the main problem the ACC is going to have if all of these teams want to leave... You know, it becomes a major issue, even though they're technically under contract to, through 2036. If all of them are saying we're done, maybe they can do something to where they can buy themselves out. And it's just going to be really ugly, in my opinion. I think Notre Dame might join the Big Ten in all sports, but football and hockey. Then guarantee to play so many games in the Big Ten that be covered by Fox Sports uh, for so many games, so Notre Dame would be an independent in football and hockey. Yeah, that's not going to happen because the Big Ten doesn't need Notre Dame. See, Notre Dame's relationship with the ACC, the ACC needs Notre Dame to be more profitable. That's why they have that weird relationship where Notre Dame gets to keep their independent status, but they face five teams from the ACC every year. The Big Ten doesn't need that. The Big Ten is going to say, do you want to make five times more revenue join our conference? If you don't, you can be an independent. You're not doing this thing where you sign a contract with us to face five teams. The Big Ten has all the leverage because all of their teams are going to make way more money than, North, than um, Notre Dame would stand to make if they stayed an independent. The teams that make the most money, the conferences that make the most money, have all the leverage in these scenarios. The Big 12 needs to get some teams from the ACC as well. Absolutely. If the Big 12 wants to expand to 20 teams, I would say you poach four teams from the Pac-12 and you poach four teams from the ACC in a perfect world. Now, I don't know if the Big 10 wants to go to a super conference of 24 teams, what teams from the ACC would be left at that point. I don't know, but I would certainly uh, look at doing something like that. Uh, and then this one, the timing has nothing to do with a rush. It was to do with the time frame of the current rights deal expiring. Yeah, so I got that wrong. I basically said that I thought they rushed it so they could make more money, when in reality, they had to do it. USC and UCLA had to get out of the Pac-12 before the new TV contract started, so they weren't stuck in a horrible TV contract for the next decade like Clemson is, like Florida State is. So yeah, I got that wrong. The reason it's 2024 is because that's when the new Pac-12 TV deal is going to be negotiated. That's why Oregon wants to get out as soon as possible and join the Big Ten. But right now we're waiting on Notre Dame. See what they do. We, I expect them to join the Big Ten. They're not going to pass up that amount of money. The Big Ten is not going to do this thing where they have a weird relationship where they're not in the conference, but they still face the Big Ten and the Big Ten still gets money from the Big Ten. The Big Ten is going to say, if you want money from us, if you want to be part of the revenue package, you need to join the conference. That's what's going to happen. Notre Dame joins the Big Ten. That opens the floodgates because then you're at 17 teams. Then you have to add more teams because you're at an odd number. Then you add Washington and Oregon and possibly another team from the Pac-12. That gets you to 20. Do you want to go to 24? Maybe you look at the ACC. Maybe you look to poach teams from the ACC if you want to get to 24, just like that mock Super Conference showed. So there's a lot of stuff. And then the SEC... They make their response after Notre Dame joins the Big Ten by trying to poach the ACC teams. Of course, it's a little bit more complicated because those ACC teams have a major TV deal with um, you know, the conference through 2036. So that's going to be a major problem for them trying to get out of that. And they certainly would stand to make way more money if a Clemson joined the SEC. There was a lot of motivating factors for Clemson to join the SEC. They have a horrible TV deal. They would make three or four times the amount of money if they left for the SEC. It's the same thing. Notre Dame would make three or four times the amount if they stopped being an independent and joined the Big Ten. That's why I think Notre Dame will. But guys, make sure you're following me on Twitter. Link to that's always in the description. I'm, of course, the Depressed Ginger. Thank you for watching.